that the second wine that you that you uh, yeah that's in there. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, second wine we've got is uh, from Rioja. It's uh, white Rioja, which is kind of unusual. It's not the bulk of what's made there. It's normally red wines made from Tempranillo. This is made from Diura, but made in a similar kind of oxidative way, meaning long time in barrel. Um, and gets all these really rich, nutty, savory, chicken skinny type things going on. Um, and the weight of this wine due to the aging process really is what is gonna make it stand up to this. It's kind of like what we talked about with the autolysis in the last wine. Yeah. But even more oxidative character, um, but with plenty of acid to cut through the fat. So okay. um, I think today that was my favorite wine of lineup. It was my favorite yeah. Uh, yeah. thing that you said that really? stuck in my brain of the fatty, schmaltzy, chicken fatty oh, okay. of this, of both of them actually kind yeah, of yeah. pops out a little bit in the, I mean, every nose is different, right? Every yeah. palate is different. You pick up on so many different things. I think that's one of the most fun things about tasting wines in a group, two, three, four to 10 people and being like, what do you taste, what do you taste? And like yeah. maybe yeah. getting down your thoughts before you go over what you taste, because like what you said, it's, you, those little things you say like caught out stuck in it. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. This take this smells so unique. Mm -hmm. You know, like, like like not like the other, you know, the Are other you ready for my favorite wine. sound? Oh sorry. Yeah. Oh, hey. oh, oh, hey. Hey, hey what's that? Get it. Oh. It's okay. That's okay. See, okay, so just that very light thyme, mm -hmm. very light garlic approach to not bend what we're doing with the wine, right? Light garlic being like six cloves, yeah. by the way. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Yeah. This guy, I love it. Yeah. Do what I do. Uh, <laughs> That's why chef food tastes so good. That's right. Do what I do. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to take that baby. Put it right yeah. there. So so this is, are you putting it on top or are you poiling it? Or I'm going to put this on top okay. first. All right. And why are you doing that? Why are you putting the garlic on top? Because then I'm going to baste. Baste over the garlic? The hot brownie bubbly butter to where yeah. all the essential oils uh -huh. are just brushing the meat. Bro. I feel like Chef Ramsey would be painting, so proud of you right now. Dude. Painting the meat with just a little of flavor. Okay. And how are we going to eat our dabs today? I'm down with rare to whatever, man. How do you guys Ooh. like it? Whatever. How do you think it would pair with, uh, Your choice. with the wine? Your choice. I mean, for me, fattier cuts, I kind of like them medium rare, rare. So you want it, right? plus because yep. you want that fat actually like melty in your mouth melty in your mouth not yeah. not like chewing on cold fat yeah what's, exactly. you know, what's yeah. the boomstick like yeah. medium let's go let's Good. go let's Me go, oh, yeah, like, let's go 130 let's go 130 Good. so you gotta account for chef carry now uh, what's that chef carry oh yeah 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 chef carry over Carry over <laughs> one, one thirty. I was like, "What the fuck are you?" <laughs> yeah, man. They must teach that at the CIA. They See, did, I only yeah, went they to did. the Le Cordon Bleu. I didn't. Oh, like, you, I didn't make it to. Did you go to Cordon Bleu? I was actually. I say Cordon Bleu, but it was actually before Cordon Bleu uh, purchased Western Culinary Institute in Portland. But okay, it was like okay. towards the tail end of my tenure there. So, okay, uh, Cordon Bleu. Nice, right? Oh, baby. This, oh. Okay, yeah. so I'm gonna brush this guy off because the way that I like to watch my steaks because I start to see all these translucent juices come to the top of the meat, right? Mm. There it is. <laughs> That's mm. it. That it's getting there. Be, and you're doing the, little, the, the, the testing. Too. I know. So, I was, for me, right. I'm not really doing the test as much, yeah. especially okay. on a zap because that has that um, muscle structure to where it tightens up a little bit. Oh, okay. So it can be a little bit deceiving as ah, far as like okay, okay. like this, 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 this. Yeah. You know that test? Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't know. I don't know right? what. But when you squeeze it, that's so like well, well done. And then so this is the fat of your thumb here, not fat, but the muscly part of your yeah. thumb. That's like rare. And yep. then the middle of your palm would be well. And then a gradient between that. So that's kind of like a good little cheat code if you're unsure, because you can't see, right? Yeah. So you, you can do it that way. You could use like very early 2000s, the cake tester. Okay. Oh, yeah. What's that? Oh, do you have one? No. Oh, no. Bro. Wow. Right, you need a little cake tester. You poke it in. You either put it on your, your wrist, your palm of your hand, or no, back the, in the day, it was at the bottom of the lip. Yeah, the cool kids at the bottom so, of the lip. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, let's see. If I had my poker out here, 
what you would do is you'd stab right into the middle of the meat with a teeny yeah. little needle as it is, yeah. and pull it out and then just tap it on your lip. So that's the most sensitive, you know, tender piece, right, on your lip. So, if so what are you looking for? You're looking for temperature, which is like, if you think about your lip being 98 whatever degrees or yeah. whatever, if it's yeah. burns the shit, you, you fucking totally yeah. overcooked it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're done. You smoked it. If it's, it's cold. Not in yeah. a good way. That's, it's, it's, a huge, yeah. it's a huge old school, like, cote de bouffe, right? Those yeah. Yeah. big, Coat big, whole bouffe. roasty ribeyes that uh, you get in the fancy, fancy French. It's, it's French like an restaurant. analog uh, thermometer, basically. Yeah. You know, yeah. it adds a little mystique and skill and whatnot. Okay, so we're gonna pull these Nothing out. Wrong, just temping I just use the temp yeah, yeah, thermometer. Totally. Yeah, yeah, just use the thermometer. That's cool. You know, there's nothing wrong you know, with any of that stuff. Everybody's like, like, you, in a kitchen, your 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 studiousness comes out as as long as you've been cooking, right? Like, like I don't. Nobody uses it. If you're the man on the meat station, you just know it, right? right. You see it. You yeah. know what's going on. The you're characteristics. Telepathic. You, yeah. You just see just through. Understand. It, right? You've done yeah. it so many times. No. Where the newbies are coming in with their, yeah, you know, like, uh, put it up here, put it down here, put it over here, put it over here. Yeah. So you just know. You're like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Good. Medium. Bam. Resting. Yeah. That's good. Get in the salad. Slice it. Yeah. And when you hit that groove, when you get that skill set and you hit that groove, yeah. and you've got, oh, like, amazing. a whole bat, like, a whole grill. It's, like, this size it's of this amazing. table. Yeah. And you're just, like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, finishing the salamander. Blah, that's resting crazy. Here. It's such it, a cool it's, feeling. It's like, yeah. that's, it's like the DJ... It of is, meats, bro. Yeah. Like you're just moving on the hot spots and 